Question 23, 71 times 46. Now we're going to use a method here that a lot of you may have heard of called the magic zero method. I've even heard some people talk about zero the hero because zero comes to save the day. So, first thing we've got to do is everything in the 71 needs to be times by the 6. So we need 6 lots of 1 and 6 lots of 7 and it's got to be done in that order. 6 1s and 6 7s. So 6 1s are 6 and then 6 7s are 42. Put the 2 in, carry the 4, but because you've finished and there's no more numbers to times by the 6, the 4 can go straight in. So we're actually dealing with 400 and 26. Because you've used this 4 that you've carried here, you might as well just rub that out now or scribble it out. Just don't want to use it again later on. So the next thing we need to do is then multiply everything by the 4 because we've already times 71 by 6, so now we need to times 71 by 4. But hang on a minute, this 4 is not worth 4. The 4 is worth 40. So we need to times by 40. Now this is where zero the hero comes in. So to times by 40, the easiest thing to do is a little magic trick by putting the magic zero in, which is why it's called the magic zero, and then times by 4. If you put a zero in and then times by 4, that is the same as times by 40, and that's what this 4 means, 40. So because the zero's gone in, all we need to do now is times 4 by 1 and 4 by 7 in that order. So 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 7 is 28. Put the 8 in, carry the 2, but because we've finished, the 2 can go straight in. We've now finished with the 2, so we can just rub that out. So we've got 2,840. And the final step is to add these two rows together. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 4 is 6, 4 plus 8 is 12, put the 2 in, carry the 1, and 2 plus the 1 and carry it is 3. So your final final answer should be 3,266, which needs to go in your answer box. Just a little note before we carry on to the next question. Some people, once they've got the 426, they forget to put the magic zero in first, and they end up doing four ones four sevens and they get the two eight four underneath the four and twenty six and then they realise that they've forgotten the magic zero so they try to put the magic zero on the end but that will not work that will give you the totally the wrong answer because if you put the magic zero on the end then your columns aren't lined up because this six is in the unit column but the zero means no units so that means your units columns are not lined up the 2, 8, 4 and the 0 need to all be moved along one space so that the 8 is underneath the 4, the 4 is under the 2 and the 0 is under the 6. If you forget to put the magic 0 in, you can't just put it in on the end. You've got to rub this number out, put it in first and then the number needs to go in front of that. Otherwise you will get the wrong answer.